Daybreak, behavioral health experts say mental health services are in high demand, but those services aren't all, always easy to find, especially for people on Medicare and Medicaid. An Indianapolis man says he's been searching for weeks to find help. News 8's Aliyah Hodges is here with today's Inside Story. Good morning, Aliyah. Good morning. His name is Brian Stone. He's a recipient of Medicaid and Medicare, but he felt like his cry for help fell on deaf ears and was left in a dark place. In part two of the series, you'll see what all he had to go through just to receive care. Brian Stone has been on disability since 2014. He got injured while running his own tile company. To add even more challenges, Stone lost his sister in 2017 and his mother shortly after. It's just been uh, a mental depressing thing. So Stone picked up the phone, hoping a mental health care provider would take his insurance. When you call the insurance company, you feel that they're going to be the ones to direct you in the right direction. But he discovered no one accepted Medicare or Medicaid. It got to the point where I was calling four, five a day, and a lot of times they would say, well, Unfortunately, we are not able to take new Medicaid, Medicare, or TRICARE patients at this time. But Stone kept dialing. It got to the point where you didn't even want to call anymore. And I kept chugging along, you know, and kept trying. It becomes, you know, well, maybe suicide's a better thing than trying to seek help because it's easier. Until someone answered with open arms. 33 days later, Life Recovery Center took him in. I called in tears and pretty much begged them, you know, uh, and they said that they don't get phone calls like that every day. So they took it upon herself to help me. Since May, Brian Stone does individual therapy in the morning and a group session in the evening once a week. It's got my depression to a state that is manageable and I feel a little happy, <laughs> really. And so it, um, it's really helped me a lot. To the people that feel the need to give up, I say don't, because there is help out there. I spoke with Brian a few days before the story aired. He is continuing treatment at Life Recovery and says he's taking it one day at a time. Coming up tomorrow, hear from facilities that primarily see people with Medicare and or Medicaid, and they don't turn anyone away. I'm Aaliyah Hodges for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.